of lovelies. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of Fenty Beauty. I wanted to do this full face because I did get my hands on the new Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter in the color um, Diamond Ball Out. So I want to see how it looks because I know a few people or even comments when I had seen it, people were kind of skeptical of how it was going to look on different skin tones um, since it's a gray like silver color. So I'm pulling it out of the packaging and it's in the normal packaging. The only difference is this face right here and that is because 100% of these sales go to the Clara Lionel Foundation. So the Clara Lionel Foundation is a nonprofit org that Rihanna has created. So it kind of gave me a good reason to spend the money for a good cause. Um, it's actually in a really pretty all gray color. It comes with a mirror, of course, and then it has this really pretty shimmery color. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right here. This is super pretty. I've seen a couple of looks um, with Rihanna and she has done just like a silver, I've seen a lot of people just do a silver eyeshadow type of thing. So it's really pretty. It has like a little, the little, um, I guess the logo of the organization on it. So it's really cute. So I want to go ahead and do a full face of Fenty products and just go ahead and incorporate this in my look today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Prime with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Put this all over my face. I'm gonna go ahead and correct, not with Fenty, but with my Maybelline. All right, let's go in with the foundation. So I love this foundation and I'm really sad because I don't wear it as often because I still have not yet to find my true match with this foundation. So this color, when it's on me, like right now it matches, but we all know that this foundation oxidizes. So this is gonna end up being darker on me later. I love the way this foundation smells. It smells so good. I have both maple and caramel and my match. So go ahead and use a uh, caramel first and then maple as a highlight. So I'm just gonna take my little baby beauty blender and blend this in. So got that caramel in to kind of just do like a normal concealer and then I'm going to take the color maple which is just a little bit lighter and just highlight a little bit. Now I'm going to take my uh, matchsticks in the color true. Mm, what color is this? Truffle um, and go ahead and contour on my normal spots, which is my forehead and right here. Now I'm going to take the Laura Mercier setting powder. Just going to go ahead and take this and do a little bit of a bake. And while that sits, I'm actually gonna go ahead and start or move on to the eyeballs. So I'm gonna be taking my Jaclyn Hill palette. So the first color that I'm gonna be using is the, so I'm gonna be using this um, pretty transition right here, which I believe is the color Pukey. And I'm just gonna put this here in my crease area. And then I think I'm going to take the color below Pukey, which is the color Roxanne right here in the middle, and put that on top of that. I 
I think I'll take the color Jax. And it's like this dark, prettyish, reddish color here. Now I'm gonna take the blackest color in the palette, which is the color Abyss, right down here in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda pack it and start building and towards the corner. And I'm just gonna focus on like blending this out so that it doesn't look crazy. And I'm gonna go back and forth between kind of adding a little bit more of the redder colors that I had earlier so I can get a nice transition here. Okay, and now for the best part, eh, eh, I'm gonna take the beautiful diamond ball out and I'm gonna go ahead and focus this kind of over the black area. It adds such a pretty shimmer to this. This diamond ball out is literally to die for. So I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and I'm gonna be putting on my Mole lashes in the style Honey. Okay, so I went ahead and added my eyelashes, added some eyeliner, and kind of finished up my eyes overall. Um, and then I also want to go ahead and add a pop of this silver in the middle of my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Cute, 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 cute. For the moment that we've all been waiting for is how to really see how this highlight is going to look on skin per se. I'm gonna grab a little bit and just kind of slowly hmm. I again have a tendency of putting too much. It's not bad it just it needs to be done very subtle very very subtle i'm not gonna lie i feel super ashy i might need to mix it with more of a um my go-to whenever a highlight is too bright or something is my opal um it adds a little bit of warmth in a way so i put a little bit of that on top i should have put some of that first I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose to see if I look like a robot. It doesn't look that bad on my nose, but it also has a little bit of opal on it still. So something I also wanted to do to finish up the look um, is I wanted to go ahead and take this and put it on my lips, cause why not? And then I'm going to take um, the gloss bomb and put that right on top of that. Just adds a little bit of cute shimmer. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some raw teal to my collarbones. which this is really pretty right here. Okay, so final thoughts on this gorgeous highlight, Diamond Ball Out. It is gonna be great for eyeshadow. So if you wanna bust out a pretty smoky eye with a little bit of silver, or even just how Rihanna did it, she just did like only silver on her eye, it would be really pretty, um, especially for summertime if you just you know, well, I guess summer's coming to an end. But just in general, if you just want a pretty shine, it's nice for a night out. Um, for a highlight, it ain't, it's not terrible. I uh, mixed it with 
like I said earlier, this opal color because it kind of gave it some warmth that it was missing. Um, I think definitely using this color for like a runway look or um, just like an artsy, just one time thing. Um, as far as going out and wearing it, I probably would have to put the opal on first and then just put the smallest amount of this on top of it. So right now, to me in the camera lighting, it looks a little gray, but when I go out into my bedroom, there's more a little bit more natural lighting. It doesn't look as gray on my skin. It would definitely work for a highlight if you just kind of go just very subtly so that you don't feel like ashy or gray, even though this is like a silver color. As far as the chest area, it's really cute if you just kind of want like a pretty silver shimmery shine for summertime. You can mix this with some Fix Plus um, and it'll make a really pretty shimmer all over your body. Uh, you know, if you want to go ahead and grab another Fenty product and also give back, um, I definitely would go ahead and go for it. I'm mainly going to be using this as an eyeshadow um, and then maybe, you know, as a shimmer more for me because this has probably worked as one of the best silver eyeshadows that I've ever um, used before. So that's definitely what I'm primarily going to be using it for. Less of a highlight and more of like an eyeshadow. A big, huge, $34 eyeshadow. I don't know if you've gotten your hands on the Diamond Ball out yet and if you were able to use it as a highlight and was it ashy-ish on you? Was it cute? Like, what is your feedback on the highlight and how it ended up turning out for you? Um, or even for me, like, does this look good? I mean, this is also mixed. It's not just the Diamond Ball by itself, but... Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week.